Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Christmas again, what'd you expect? But it really isn't. There is no Christmas. Blue Monday, I'm a blue Monday. That's what it really is. It's another blue Monday. Got to work, lack of sleep. The working stiffs, the working stiffs, the slush, neither slush, nor snow, nor snow, nor rain will keep you from toiling again, making your taxes so that you can pay for all the Muslims that are coming in with six wives. Paying your taxes so the immigrants can have babies as frequently as the snow falls from the sky. Making your tax payments so that Disney can fire the IT workers and replace them with cheaper workers from India and say it's in the name of socialism or is it capitalism? Well, whatever it is, it's in the name of greed. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Main topic is Trump, of course. As you well know, the... Uh, Big thing is this Saturday. Tonight is a stooge debate of some kind of town hall meeting. Who knows what it is with Hillary and the, the commie there. Who's going to watch that garbage? She's finished. And the thing is, we read that Trump may skip the Fox debate for his own town hall, which I've recommended for months now. I've said I've said on the air, I don't call him up and say, hey, Donald, how are you? Enjoying the uh, meatloaf? I don't say that. I've said it on the radio. I assume he has people who listen to the radio. He knows what people are saying about him, as he should. He's running a presidential campaign. He knows that the socialists disguised as uh, Cruz supporters, crony socialists, uh, have been supporting Cruz. Now they've jumped ship and they're supporting Trump because they see which way the, the wind is blowing. And uh, he knows I've supported him from uh, the get-go because I know that he's the best for America. He's the only chance we have to save the country. Now we read that he may skip the Fox debate for his own town hall unless they dump her. Now, I said the same thing. What does he need these debates for? He is so far ahead that his absence would be a greater presence than his presence. That's all. So we don't know if he's going to do it. He is on the show tomorrow. I'm pleased to say that Donald Trump will be on the Savage Nation tomorrow. And it's a very, very big thing for me. I hope it'll be a big thing for you. So I went to my Facebook page. That's the Michael Savage Facebook page. And I did a little line, one line. Donald Trump will be on my radio show on Tuesday. Send your questions here. What would you like me to ask Mr. Trump? So we have 14,000 people were reached in the last hour or so. Some of the questions are good. Some are idiotic. And I'm going to read some of them to you. And then we're going to go on to other topics. If you think that's the whole show, you are wrong. We're going to talk about a group called Britain First, which I didn't know existed until I found it on my own Facebook page. A listener posted it. And I could not believe there's such a group. There are Christian patrols in Muslim neighborhoods. They're marching through Muslim neighborhoods holding crosses. You should see the hate coming out of the Muslims who scream at them, it's our country, get out of our neighborhood. Yeah, these are big British guys. These are the British types that built Britain before the... I have such contempt for the vermin who have taken over the West, those suicidal liberals who've stolen Britain from the Brits, stolen America from the Americans. Well, anyway, there's a Britain First movement, and they're marching through Muslim neighborhoods with crosses, giving out newspapers. Naturally, the vermin in the media are calling them names like racist and whatnot. The real racists are the Muslims who scream, get out of our country, get out of our town. We'll take over your country. You cannot believe this. We'll uh, be talking about that on the show, as well as all the news, views, and reviews. We have a new report from... The radio industry, Inside Radio, has reported that afternoon drive is the king of radio time. I've always known that. It says radio stations have always made it a priority to corral listeners with strong morning drive shows that amp brand loyalty and ratings. It is, however, actually afternoon drive that draws the highest cume. The fact may not be a news flash to programmers, but the, anyway, I've known this since I began in radio. And then they, you know, they explain it. I happen to have an afternoon drive show. PM drive is 3 p.m. to 
well, till the show is over on the East Coast, noon on the West Coast, which is when I move my time to noon on the West Coast, which is a little bit of a stretch for my people on the West. They like to listen to me in the afternoon. And they say the audience drops dramatically after 6 p.m. on the East Coast. It drops to a very, very low amount, to an insignificant amount. People don't pay attention to it, which I've known also, by the way. Very interesting stuff. And it's mainly about... You know, radio, you may be, may not be interested. So let's get down to business on the Savage Nation. Tonight's the town who are meeting with Hillary Clinton. How exciting. And Bernie the commie and the other guy who no one even knows why, what he's doing there. It's like a bowling pin they put up there named O'Malley. O'Malley the bowling pin. Okay. Here's some comments for Donald Trump. Mr. Trump, please explain how your temporary closing of the border will work. I like it, but a lot of people do not understand what you mean by temporary. I don't even understand the question. Mr. Trump, with the price of oil at an all-time low, can you get the restaurant industry and grocery stores to lower their food prices? Uh, that, that, he wants the government to interfere with, with prices now in a, in a supermarket? They don't even understand how the world works. This is not a communist nation. The government doesn't fix prices in supermarkets, sir. It just shows you people. Okay, next. Mr. Trump, uh, how do you plan on wiping out ISIS when they're in many places? Mr. Trump, w uh, would you be willing to record an album of you rapping for the greater good? Idiot, stupid stuff. Mr. Trump, if you fail to deport the 25 million or more illegals who are spread far and wide across the continent, will you, would you at least stop all government aid using taxpayer money? Another one says, you mean he's actually going to tell us more than I will make America great again? And not get mad when we actually want to know how? Okay. Will he be true to his promises and always put the American people first before he makes any decision in case he wins the presidency? Uh, oh, God. I don't know if I should even do this. I'm already bored of it. Let's see. Let's go down. As an Assyrian American, my question for Mr. Trump, Assyrians are currently experiencing genocide and are being driven out of their lands and homes. As President Trump, how will you help them? Okay. <laughs> Could I please have some money, someone wrote. What's this now? Uh, if you were elected president, would you allow Hillary Clinton to be prosecuted if the FBI charges her for endangering the security of the United States? And if you win the primary, would you consider Ted Cruz as your running mate? Okay. Uh, Mr. Trump, the political correctness disease is ruining the military, the Marine Corps in particular. There's been talk of lowering physical standards to allow women into frontline combat jobs. If elected, would you let the military continue down this destructive path? Well, I think the answer is, would you stop the military from going down Obama's destructive path? Obama wants to destroy the military. Mr. Trump, where do you stand with Israel? Mr. Trump, why are you allowing yourself with Palin? And, and so on. Um, cyber threats, rules of engagement for our soldiers. Would you, who'd you pick to be your uh, running mate? Would you have Congress and judges do a drug test? I would love that. See, I, I suggested, I'm the first in the radio, if we ever did drug testing on Congress, you know, like if you take a job in a corporation, I think you need to take a drug test to work for Domino's Pizza. A pizza chain requires that you pee in a cup. I would say if we forced everyone in government from the president down to pee in a cup, and you publish the drug tests every 90 days, 90% of them would have to resign if you actually did that. That that would explain their madness. That would explain their madness. Can we bring back trade schools focusing on both old trades like mechanics, welding, etc.? That's such a great idea. And newer ones like us, computer cybersecurity at a reasonable cost. I've suggested it. I went to high school. There were three choices in Queens, New York. Three choices. One was regular high school. I went to Jamaica High School. Next to it was a trade school where the guys who didn't want to become whatever, a white-collar guy, they worked with their hands. They became plumbers, electricians, carpenters. They probably make more money than most of the people who went to the regular school. And then there was a third school called, I think, commercial for people who wanted to be a secretary. But we got rid of it. You know why? Because everyone's an Einstein. Oh, yes, everyone's an Einstein if they're given the chance. Everyone's equal in socialist America. It's just a matter of having started out with uh, impediments. You know, like they lived in poverty. Like some of the greatest geniuses on earth never lived in poverty, okay? What a bunch of garbage. If Michael Savage... 
Oh, this is horrible. Look at this. People, they put up these ugly things about me. Marilyn Lickett, you wrote a thing like this. I'll tell you what, Marilyn. You know what you are? You are lower than someone who licks a toilet seat. I'm not even going to read what this woman wrote. See, I pay people to monitor these sites, and they don't do it. They're lazy. So I have to hire another person. Could you try to curb your urge to be flippant? Oh, come on. I don't even know if I want to read this. All right, forget about it. I'm not doing this. That's, this segment is over. If you care to comment on what I've just said, please don't, because I'm bored of it. So let's move on. Let's mo move on to some of the headlines on michaelsavage.com. Let's see what I have up there. Britain first carries out Christian patrol in Islamist hotspot. This is good. They said this is a Christian country. The Muslims are screaming, get out of here. We're going to take over this country. Flash, Trump on Savage Show Tuesday, spread the word. Three, UK, new reforms give immigrants with more than one wife extra benefits. Isn't that tolerant? Isn't that wonderful on the camera on that if someone from, let's say, a throwback country that beats their women, beats their children, wants to have six of them like six puppies, and he dresses them head to toe. Take a look at that piece of garbage with the headscarf on. Take a look at that filth that they brought in there. That filth can walk the streets of England, and I can't. Look at He's walking around with two wives with black covering their whole bodies. They look like they're wearing tent awnings that fell down upon them. And that's marching around England. He gets more benefits because he has extra wives. How can a nation survive its fools? It cannot. Look how we're doing in this country under the fool in the White House. He thinks he's fooling the world. Okay, let's move on. Two Israeli injured, one in critical condition by Palestinian terrorists. You don't care about that. Another one broke into a house and stabbed the mother in front of six children. What's the difference? Another one broke in and stabbed two women today in their houses in, in, in Israel. What's the difference? Just Jews. Jewish blood's cheap. Glenn Beck says he prefers Bernie Sanders over Trump. I mean, you're surprised? If you take that much hemorrhoid medication, it affects your thinking eventually. Do you know that? Robert, it's true. It must be the preparation H crosses the blood-brain barrier faster than heroin. I know that heroin crosses the blood-brain barrier as fast. Uh, uh, it's the molecule is so small, it goes right to the brain. And I know that vitamin C crosses the blood-brain barrier faster than heroin, which is why it's a good treatment for it when it's given properly and is done intravenously. It's been done in clinics. But I didn't know that preparation H crosses the blood-brain barrier at such a fast rate. How else do you explain that Glenn Beck says he prefers Bernie Sanders over Trump. Answer, there's no other explanation whatsoever that I can say on national radio. Let's see what else. Uh, is dementia risk falling? Shows a surprising drop in some countries. The risk of dementia and Alzheimer's. Would you believe that? Isn't that good news? The sky is not falling, by the way, and everything. Some things are good. Now, let me give you a quick one-minute diversion. If you're just listening and you're bored to death because you were in the snow and the slush and football, and you want to hear about idiots with balls banging into each other, God bless you. It's a big world. There's a lot of people in it. People have to do what they have to do. Uh, one of my hobbies is watching birds. I live next to the water in San Francisco. There's thousands of sea fowl of many species feeding on the sardines. And it's very reassuring for a while. And now I, I can't stand it. I want to get out the shotgun. They're waking me. They're keeping me awake at night. They're squawking. As the schools come in next to the house, driving me nuts. The house stinks of like, the house even stinks of the fish that they're ripping apart with the eggs falling out. Of course, I'm not going to shoot them. I mean, they're doing what they do. But one of the things that I love about all of this is that it shows that San Francisco Bay is so healthy. The birds are healthy. The fish are healthy. Do you know why the birds are healthy and the fish are healthy and the water is relatively clean? Because of environmental wackos from 40 years ago. The very environmental wackos that oafs in the media call environmental wackos, because of them, we have clean waters, cleaner waters, cleaner air uh, than you would ever imagine. Had there been no environmental wackos, as some cigar-smoking oafs in the media would have you believe, the bays would be polluted. The air would be unbreathable. Do you understand that this is where government comes in do you understand that limited government is required that we can't live in anarchy okay think about it i'll be right back well, welcome back uh, to afternoon drive with michael savage 